One more drink leads to another You slide in close to me Tear our t-shirts off each other Your hands all over me I tell myself I'm not in love One more time is not enough One last kiss and then you're a goner When I'm here wishing you could stay a little longer Hey everyone, I want to teach you how to play a Brothers Osborne song this time. There's a couple different ways to, to tune, you can, uh, different tunings you can play this in. Um, but one thing to keep in mind with songs is that um, not everything is linear. It's not like um, they, there's only one way to play a song. There might be one way that the band plays it, but there's not only one way that like you can play it and have it sound exactly the same. Okay? So um, for this one is stay a little longer. And uh, if you, if you enjoy this tutorial, please subscribe so you can get notified when I come out with new tutorials for you, all right? So we're going to have a capo on the first fret. You can do it in, in a half step down. Um, I don't, I know I, I do some songs a half step down, but I know a lot of you guys probably only have one guitar. At least that's how it was for me for a super long time. So I don't want you to have to tune every single string down a half step. I figured we could just do it this way, all right? So you're going to have a capo on the first fret, and then you're going to do standard tuning for this one. All right, so the chords you're going to use, you're going to use F. All right, and just play it like a power chord if, it, if it's hard or hurts your hand or whatever, okay? So you can just do it like that instead of barring. All right, so you're gonna do F, and then you're gonna do D minor, okay? So D minor is, you're just gonna leave that, that middle finger on the second fret in relation to the capo um, on the G string, and then you're gonna, when you're going from F to, to D minor, okay? And then you're gonna put your ring finger down here, if you can see, on the third fret, um, on the B string, and then you're gonna put your pointer finger up here on the first fret on the little E string, okay? So you don't you don't strum the top, the E string, okay? You're gonna strum the rest of them, though, okay? And then you're um, and then you're gonna use B flat, okay? So you're supposed to play it like B, but just up on the first and third frets in relation to the capo, okay? Everything here is in relation to the capo. So you're supposed to play it like that. I I mute the big E string, all right? But I don't like playing it like that. I don't know why I hate doing that and this. So I always just play it like a power chord. All right, so I just play like that. So that's gonna go on the first, and then, but I do bar it. So you don't have to, but it'll sound a little bit better if you do, okay? So then, yeah, so you're gonna use B flat there. Okay, so now let's get into it. The strumming pattern for this song is going to be like the same throughout the entire song. I would just re recommend playing the, the chorus louder than you play the verse and the pre-chorus softer than, than both of them, okay? So, the way that this is gonna go, the strumming pattern for this is going to be, you're gonna start on F, all right? So the order for the entire song is F, E minor, or sorry, D minor, all right, and then B flat, okay? So, you're gonna go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, 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 all right, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, okay? Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So an easy, I'm gonna do a little bit slower for you. It's gonna be F, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, okay? So you're just doing down, down, and then you wait for it a little bit. Down, down, up, down, so then you go down, up, down, up. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, okay? Just like that. Just down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. You can throw in other stuff in there if you want, like, you can throw in a little more, like, you can go, all right, you can kind of, like, just throw in a little bit more alternate, alternating strumming if you want, but you don't need to, okay? So that's just an easy way to play it. So to start, you're going to play this F, D minor and then B flat, and you'll hold the B flat for a little bit, and then you'll go into the, the verse. Something like a strong wind is coming over me. Okay, so when I'm coming over me is where you start, is where you do D minor. Coming over me, it's got to hold me. So hold is where you do B flat, okay? Thinking and doing things that I shouldn't be. I really should be. See how easy that is? Okay. So you'll play that kind of like a medium level. And then when you go into the pre chorus, you're going to do uh, give me one more call. It's, it's a, uh, give me one more call. It's one more what you're doing right now. It's one more trip to my side of town. And you walk right in. One, one more, here we go again. Okay, you're going to play that like softer. 
So, and then when you get to the chorus, you're just gonna do the same thing as you were doing before. You're gonna go, um, one more drink leads to another. So you should already be playing F, okay? F is on one. One more drink leads to another. You slide up close to me. Then you go to tear. So you go to D minor. Tear on t-shirts off each other. Yours. So you went on yours where you do D, uh, B flat. Your hands all over me. Wanna tell myself I'm not in love. But one more time is not enough. One. So then that's where you do D, D minor again. One more kiss, one last kiss, and you're a goner. Okay, then you go to B flat. Um, and here I'm wishing you could stay a little longer. Okay, so on stay is where you're gonna do just one last drum and let it ring out. Stay a little longer. And then start doing this softer, okay? And then you go back into the verse, okay? Um, I'm not gonna tell you what to do for the solo because, I mean, I don't know, maybe <laughs> it's just a super long solo and I don't think most people are gonna play it for other people. So um, if you guys wanna learn that, let me know and I can see if I can <laughs> you know, do a super long tutorial on just that, the solo. But uh, for the beginner acoustic players, this, this is all you need. Now you know the whole song, really, okay? So for the solo, you could just keep playing that. You could just maybe like once or twice just do this could kind of like hum a little bit or something that's what lead guitar really is is this kind of like humming over the rhythm okay so you're just picking different notes that sound good over the rhythm so you could play it through like twice and then go back into the chorus again okay um, that'll make it a lot better when you're playing it at the campfire for your friends or something like that so all right that's the whole song let me know if you guys have any questions any requests for uh, other songs you'd like me to teach next and uh thanks guys it's been fun i'll see you next time